I, I'm from New Jersey. We're known to have a lot of pride. And, you know, I love, I love New Jersey, but um, it gets me down sometimes, you know. Um, a lot of my friends are negative also. And, you know, we, just, we get together and we, like, just complaining, you know. You know, and it's just all this negative energy is just, like, you know, making me very unhappy. It makes me very unhappy. I, I hear you. And, that's, you know, and we see that a lot of times. Right. And it sort of throws back that itself. And, and Dan, you've got some tips that right, right, right. people at home right now could use. Right. So just like your financial planner would tell you to balance your financial portfolio, I argue you should balance your happiness portfolio. So these are the three components of happiness. And this is, imagine having a recipe for happiness. Right. That's what we're talking about. Okay. okay. Right. So, so starting with purpose. So purpose is measured, are you able to use your strengths to do what you do best every day? And that starts with being able to sum up your purpose in one, one phrase. And if I had to ask you what your purpose was, one phrase, what would it be? I am a... I am very family oriented, so I try, you know, my best to, you know, care for my family. Unfortunately, my nine to five doesn't allow that. So, so, so you're not able to to to, to do what you do best at right. work, but you can do it at home. Yes, you're lucky. You're the CEO of a family. Your most important job, you get to do what you do best. So yes. you have halfway. There. Next up. So pleasure. This is me this is measured on uh, how much joy and laughter you uh, have every day. And pe the happiest people in the world are socializing. So I just want to ask you, how much time do you spend every day socializing with people you like and who care about you? Okay, so I work a lot. So it's I really don't have that much time. So I'll say less than that, less than an hour. You know, we try to call the family. You What's know, the right of mind? Yeah, so the happiest people in America are socializing five to six hours a day. Wow, I would love that's that. That's not on Facebook. <laughs> that's face to time. That's what you and Oz are wow. doing right now. Right. So, Doesn't so <laughs> yeah. So the the ideal here is to make uh, new happy friends. For each new happy friend you have in your social network, your own happiness goes up by about 15%. Nice. And, ha and, and friends are long-term adventures. So that's probably a good investment in your time. Which, which is tough because it means some of the folks will be negative. You may have to change out. Let's just be honest about this. Okay, next, pride. So, yeah, so pride is measured. When you think of your life as a whole on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? Just let me ask you that. So to get 1 to 10, how happy? 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest. I don't say it. One and a half. One and a half. Why the half? Because you're from Jersey. Uh, <laughs> because I'm making my way up there, I guess. <laughs> So when it comes to pride, the way we, we augment pride is through education and, and also through financial security. So um, do you feel like uh, you have enough money to buy the things you need and treat yourself once in a while? Definitely not. Definitely not. No. Yeah, so, Definitely not. So there's a place to focus. And when it comes to how you spend your money, you actually get more happiness from fi financial security. All right, so the big thing I'm hearing, and there's, there's some things that don't cost any money to build pride in your home that also give you pleasure and give you purpose. And that's what Dan is praying for, that we'll pay attention to this place right here where all three of these come together, right? That's where happiness lives. Okay. So as an example, give me a place that gives me purpose, gives me pleasure, doesn't cost me a lot of money. Yeah. So I, I argue that trying to go after happy is just a recipe for neurosis. What you want to do is shape your environment. One way to shape your home environment is buy a dog. People who own dogs are happier and they're healthier. Okay. Yeah. I, also, I also like this idea of a pride shrine because one way to measure happy is your positive emotions day to day and to take a, a wall in your house, obviously your kids are important to you, putting pictures of your kids mm -hmm. when they were young, your vacation spot, things you're proud of and put it in an area that you cross many times a day. Every time you go by it you'll feel a little, a little burst mm -hmm. of, of pleasure. Okay. You could do something like that, maybe. Yes, definitely. In my bedroom, I mean, when I get up, you know, right next to the TV, because I love the TV, so it would be right there. Perfect. And then we'll start my Perfect. Because the big lesson I'm taking away from all this is you can't bang your head into the wall. Mm -hmm. You've got to make your life work with the blue zones. Right. So putting up that pride shrine next to the TV set allows you to do these things together. So you live in that little beautiful area. There we go. And when you do that, your friends start copying you, and they'll be happy. And we'll all be happy that. together, yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Let me tell you the number.